Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're visiting the cliff-dwelling Longhouse in Mesa Verde National Park. We're Steve and Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. Built by ancestral Pueblans in the 1200s, the 150-room dwelling was rediscovered by the Wetherill brothers and Charles Mason in early 1890. The men were searching for cattle with their Ute guide, Akowitz. Longhouse was excavated and stabilized between 1959 and 1961 as part of the Wetherill Mesa archaeological project. Funded by the National Park Service and the National Geographic Society, 15 sites on Wetherill Mesa were excavated between 1958 and 1963. The largest and most significant archaeological undertaking at Mesa Verde in more than 30 years the project recorded more than 800 sites and resulted in the excavation of six major cliff dwellings and mesa tops. Because little previous work had been done at Longhouse, they were able to recover thousands of stone, bone, and ceramic artifacts, as well as perishable items such as sandals, yucca fibers, and arrow shafts. Longhouse is nearly equal in size to Cliff Palace, with about 150 rooms, 21 kivas, and a row of upper storage rooms. It may have been home to between 150 and 175 people. Longhouse is in a large, south-facing alcove about 100 feet below the rim of the west side of Wetherill Mesa. It was built on top of an earlier Basket Maker III pit house dating to 648 AD, the only Basket Maker III ruin at Wetherill Mesa that is not on top of the mesa. Like the other cliff dwellings in the area, Longhouse was built during the Pueblo III period, about 1150 to 1300 AD when Mesa Verde residents began to move from mesa tops to cliff alcoves, perhaps for greater protection. Some of the architectural features in Longhouse suggest it was also a public place where people from all over Wetherill Mesa gathered to trade or hold community events. The formal plaza in the center of the site is larger than most villages and has some features not often found in other Mesa Verde archaeological sites. For instance, the benches, vaults, and a raised firebox may indicate this large open space was a dance plaza or great kiva, similar to Fire Temple on Chapin Mesa. The high number of rooms and kivas in Longhouse, plus the presence of the formal plaza, suggests community was a particularly significant place for ancestral Pueblo people, perhaps serving both civic and ceremonial functions. Other rooms not associated with the kiva may have been used for storage. On its top level, Long House has a long enclosed space with peepholes, which may have served a defensive purpose. Like in the rest of the Mesa Verde region, Longhouse was evacuated in the final decades of the 1200s, when the ancestral Pueblans migrated to the south and southwest. Although the exact reasons for the migration remain unknown, there is evidence colder and drier weather, 
combined with increased conflict in the region, made it harder for residents to rely on traditional strategies for survival. You must get a ticket for a ranger-guided tour to visit Longhouse. These tours are only offered online 14 days in advance. Competition for the tickets is intense, so you must be ready to order on recreation.gov at 8 a.m. daily when the tickets become available. You really want one of these tours because the rangers are very knowledgeable and bring the ruins to life. Otherwise, you can only view the cliff dwellings from great distances. Please be aware visiting cliff dwellings is strenuous. Trails are steep and uneven, with steps and ladders to climb. Folks with heart or respiratory problems most likely shouldn't attempt to visit. Parents should watch children closely, especially near canyon rims and in cliff dwellings and exhibits. All archaeological sites, especially those with standing architecture like Longhouse, require continued assessment and maintenance. Natural factors such as rainfall and alcove spalling, as well as animals and insects, impact the integrity of the site's fabric. As a public site, conditions at Longhouse are routinely monitored on an annual basis. To learn how the park continues to preserve archaeological sites for further generations, visit the Archaeological Site Conservation Program on the National Park Service website. Longhouse and Wetherill Mesa are only open between Memorial and Labor Day weekends. If you go, we recommend the basics. Be prepared for the sun and staying hydrated. Also, the park is 30 miles from Durango. Add a 20 minute drive to the Far View area, then a 30 plus minute drive to the Weatherhill Mesa parking, and finally a three quarter mile hike to the entrance gate where you meet a ranger. Don't underestimate these time distances or you might miss your tour. Finally, we recommend bringing gloves. You will be climbing wooden ladders so hot they can cause first degree burns. Thanks for watching our latest episode of Cruising America. To see more of our videos, click the link to our channel in the description below. If you like our videos, please click the subscribe button, then click the bell next to it. YouTube will then send you emails telling about our new videos once they're posted.